Michelle Bachman, the congresswoman from Minnesota, told the columnist Cal Thomas uh, that Americans really aren't ready for a woman president. I'll put it up on the screen. I think there was a cachet about having an African-American president because of guilt. People don't hold guilt for a woman. I don't think there is a pent-up desire for a woman president. Uh, those are pretty controversial words, shall I say. Well, and, and something can be said uh, for that. In fact, Jolene Ferraro uh, tells a story to Ann Kornblut, a Washington Post reporter, uh, in a book that she wrote uh, uh, about breaking the glass ceiling, where Jolene Ferraro on Super Tuesday back in 2008 calls her daughter and says, who did you vote for? And her daughter says, I voted for Barack Obama. Now, Jolene Ferraro was the first woman on a major political ticket when she was the vice presidential nominee. And Jolene Ferraro was infuriated because she said, how could you not not vote for, uh, for Hillary Clinton. Don't you see what I'm doing for her? Don't you want the first woman to win? And her daughter said, but is it more important to have the first African-American president? And I think we're in this time now, uh, certainly were when we saw Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton running for the Democratic presidential nomination, that there was more of a, a, a thought that to have a first black president was more important. It might now be the time for the first woman president. Uh, Senator McCain, who uh, likes to, he's a straight talker. Uh, he was up here as Morgan last night. He said this, about what Bachman said about Hillary. I would bet, my friend, as much as I hate to admit it, that right now, this is why we have campaigns, but right now, if the election were tomorrow, Hillary Clinton would most likely be the president of the United States. I thought well, she wouldn't be my candidate. I just, I, I just have a very different reading of the American political scene. Key words if the election were tomorrow. Well, the election is not tomorrow. We'll see what happens down the road. We still got a while, a while to go. And that's right. I mean, I mean, look. I mean, that's what polling shows. Hillary Clinton would be elected president. You know, the interesting thing is, is that if Hillary Clinton decides not to run who will be the next woman president. And if you look at the ranks of both Democrats and Republicans, I don't know who would actually fill that void then. You know, there's some uh, senators uh, on the Democratic side that you could potentially look at. I'm not sure who would be on the Republican side. So a lot of people are looking at Hillary Clinton to be the person who breaks that glass ceiling. So that's why there's a lot of pressure on her to run, even if she might be hedging that she might not want to run. And of course, we don't know what she's going to do. On the Republican governor, Susanna Martinez is one name that you sometimes hear mentioned. Uh, Elizabeth Warren, the senator from Massachusetts on the Democratic side. So there are women out there whose names have been floated. But are they at the level of Hillary Clinton at this time? Susanna Martinez has to run for re-election. Elizabeth Warren is just a freshman senator, although I guess Barack Obama was just a freshman senator, and look where he is now. Good point. Right. <laughs> uh, thanks very much, Mark, for that. Uh